this video, we're going to test solutions to an equation with parentheses, decimals, and or fractions using the TI-84. The two types of problems you should be able to work by the end of this video are listed below. And we're going to take a look at our first vocabulary word and only vocabulary word for this video. It's a solution to an equation. A solution to an equation makes the left and right hand sides of the equation the same when substituted in for the variables of the equation. So, is x equal 5 a solution to this equation right here? We could test that by replacing all of the x in the equation, all the x's that is, with the number 5. And what I like to do when I'm sub doing substitution, so I'm going to substitute all the x's with 5, I like to put the x in parentheses. So I'm going to write 3, just rewriting the equation, and wherever where I see an x, I'm going to put a parentheses around it. Parentheses 5 minus 4 plus 2 parentheses 5 equals 2 parentheses 5 minus 2 minus parentheses 5. So again, everywhere I see an x, I'm just basically crossing out the x and putting a set of parentheses with the x value inside. Crossing out the x, putting a set of parentheses with the x value inside. And we can do this by hand. We could also use a graphing calculator. If we use the calculator, we would just have to type out the equation. So the left-hand side. So on the left-hand side, we have 3 parentheses parentheses. Notice there's two parentheses. 5 minus 4 ooh, minus 4. Close parentheses. We're typing out exactly what we see on the screen here. Plus 2 plus 2 parentheses 5 close parentheses. And we're going to press enter on the left hand side of the equation we get 13. 13 equal to 2 parentheses 5 parentheses minus 2 ooh, minus parentheses 2 minus parentheses 5 parentheses. And then notice there's two parentheses here so we have to close the second set. We make sure that what we have typed in our calculator matches this right hand side of the equal sign exactly, we press enter, we get a 13, and since 13 equals 13 we know that this is the solution. There's another way to work this problem and it's actually the way I'm going to be using for the rest of this video and you'll also see this in future videos for testing solutions. What I like to do is I like to take the number, so I'm going to use an easier example, this easier example first, I like to take the number that x is equal to 5, it says x is equal to 5, and I like to press the STO button. The STO button stands for store, like you were storing um, a shirt in your closet, or you were storing some books in a box. We're going to be storing the number 5, STO, with the arrow into the box called X. So the calculator isn't going to think of X as the letter anymore. It's going to think of X as if it's the number 5. Now since the calculator thinks x is equal to 5, we can actually type out both sides of the equation without having to do the whole double parentheses thing. Let me show you. 3 parentheses x minus 4, close parentheses. Let's go ahead and erase that extra stuff that doesn't need to be there right now. plus 2x plus 2x. So this is the left hand side of the equation. Notice it matches the left hand side of the equation exactly. Press enter. Then I can type out the right hand side of the equation. 2x minus 2 minus x close parentheses. Press enter and we get 13 equals 13. It is indeed the solution. So there's two ways to check your solutions and then we're going to use both of those ways to find out which of these answer choices is the solution to this equation right here that has decimals and negatives etc. So we're going to test answer choice A first. Notice it says what is the solution to and it gives us an equation. We're going to test A by substituting negative 2 in for all of the x values. If you want to go ahead and pause the video see if you can work it out on your own and press play when you're ready to see the answer. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you a calculator trick that's going to make this process a lot faster. I'm going to type negative, ooh, negative 2, STOX, press enter, 
12.3, parentheses 12x minus 16, oops, 16, close parentheses, press enter. The right hand side, 0.4, 12 minus 3x, close parentheses, press enter. The left hand side and the right hand side aren't equal, so we know that answer choice A is not the right answer choice. Now let me show you the shortcut I, I mentioned earlier. Since B is equal to 4, or excuse me, X is equal to 4 is our next possible solution, I'm going to go 4 STOX, press enter. But suppose I don't want to type out the other stuff. I don't feel like typing out the left hand side of the equation. I can just press the up arrow key on my calculator until I'm on top of the left hand side of the equation and press enter. And then I can press enter again, 9.6. Then I can press the up arrow key until I'm on top of the right hand side of the equation that I already typed out earlier. Press enter, press enter again, and I get zero. Since 9.6 does not equal zero, we know B is not the correct answer either. Let's try C. 2 sto x, press enter. We can go back up to the left hand side of the equation. This just saves us having to retype out all of that again. Press enter. Let's go up to the left hand side of the, or excuse me, the right hand side of the equation. Press enter. Press enter again. 2.4 equals 2.4. Looks like C is the correct answer choice. All right, there's one other problem to try. I'd like you to go ahead and pause the video and see if you can work this one out on your own and press play when you're ready to see the answer. Now the correct answer to this problem is going to be D. B is equal to 1 fifth. Notice that we have B's and not X's. It doesn't really matter. You can just change all the B's into X's. So I'm going to go 1 divided by 5 to make 1 fifth. Sto X. Press enter. And then I'm going to type out the left hand side of the equation, but I'm going to use x instead of b. So negative, notice I use the negative below the 3, 5x minus, it is a minus sign because it separates a letter and the parentheses, so we have to use a subtraction sign. Subtraction is always used to separate a number in a letter or a number in a parentheses. A negative sign is used only if it comes first, like negative 5. So negative 5x minus parentheses negative 7, since it came first inside the parentheses, we have to use the negative, minus 4x, close parentheses, press enter. Let's go ahead and do the right hand side. Negative 2 parentheses 3x subtract 4, close parentheses, press enter. We get 6.8 both times for the left and for the right hand side. Therefore, the correct answer is indeed D.